How's it going guys? This is Lucian Sword and today I'm going to show you guys how to easily install mods for Brawlhalla. Now this is only on PC so if you're playing on console right now you can't install any mods. So the first thing that you need to do to install the mods is know where to get them. There's a couple different places but my favorite place to go is GameBanana.com. So once you're on GameBanana.com you can go ahead and search for Brawlhalla it'll bring you to this page. There's lots of different mods that you can choose from. There's effects mods, maps, skins, sounds, uh, graphical user interface mods. So once you find a mod that you like, let's just say we, we wanna get this Nash Fire Sigs mod. This one actually looks pretty sick. Um, let's take a look. Makes his graphics like red when he's swinging and whatnot. That looks awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and download this mod right here. Just click manual download and then go ahead and click download again. I'm gonna save it to my desktop. Now you need to know where your Steam library is located. Uh, my Steam library is not the default location. So I'll quickly go ahead and show you how to find the, your Steam library if you don't know where it is. You can just go to Steam, then go to settings, and then in settings go to downloads and then click steam library folders and this will tell you the exact location of your steam library so mine is in d game steam so once you know where your steam library is let's go ahead and look at what's in here so this one came with a readme um, not all mods do come with a readme but this one is just saying basically put the bo uh, move the bones files into brahala bones so very simple we can do that so let's go ahead and grab these two files and I'm just gonna extract them onto my desktop for now let's go ahead and open Windows Explorer so I'm gonna go to D games Steam that's this is where my Steam library is once you're in your Steam library go ahead and go to Steam apps and then common and then find your Brawlhalla folder once you're in your Brawlhalla folder uh, this is where you're going to install most of your mods. It depends on the type of mod that you get. Some mods you uh, just install into the base uh, Brawlhalla folder. But in this example, it wants us to put these into the Bones folder. So I'm going to open the Bones. I'm going to copy these two files that we just got for the Nash Fire Sigs. And I'm going to copy them over into this folder. And we do want to replace the files. Now, some people think that modding Brawlhalla is actually like illegal and you're gonna get banned if you do that, and that's totally not true. Uh, but let me clarify, so most of the mods, pretty much all the mods that are safe to use are any mod that does not mess with the core gameplay of the game, such as changing the graphics of the game, like changing how a legend looks, or how a signature move looks, or how the map looks, or how the user interface looks, or changing the sounds of the game, anything like that, is totally okay. It's not gonna actually mess with the core mechanics of the game. So that's it, I installed the mod. Let's go ahead and launch Brawlhalla and see if it works. Some mods may not work right away, especially if they're a little bit older, because every time the game patches, there's a chance that your mod might not work again. You guys can't hear the music, sorry about that. Now you can. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into a game real quick. I'll just go into uh, training so we can see if the mod worked. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into Nash. Let's do Gold Ford Nash. Let's see if we have these fire sigs. If all went well, then we should. All right, let's go ahead and give me a uh, hammer. Oh, look at how cool that looks. So, boom. Very, very cool. That's how easy it is to install most weapon mods. Let's go ahead and check, check a look at what the spear looks like. I might actually keep this mod. Oh, that's so cool. All right. So, let's go ahead and leave Brawlhalla. So, let's say that you accidentally install a mod that you don't want anymore and you want to revert the mod so that you're back to the base game files. There's a couple ways that you can do that. So um, 
if it for in this case what I would do is I would go ahead and find these two files that I changed let's go ahead and go back into uh, Brahala uh, steam folder so I'm gonna go to steam apps common Brahala bones so these ones were bones for hammer and bones for spear so I would just go ahead and delete the bones for hammer and delete the bones for spear okay now the game won't really work very well now because I'm deleting game files, but what we can do is go back into Steam, go to your library, find Brahala, right click on Brahala and go properties, and then we're going to go to local files tab and we're going to click verify integrity of game files. When I do that, Steam is going to scan my, Steam, my Brahala folder and look for any files that might be missing. And when it finds that those two files are missing that I just deleted, it's going to re-download the files and put them in there. So you can see it found the files, it went ahead and downloaded them. So now if I go ahead and open Brahala, the mod should be gone and it should be back to the base, uh, base files. Now keep in mind some mods, like especially mods like this that have, uh, they alter the graphics of the weapon. A lot of times I find that it does it for all the legends, like like even though Nash uses Spear and Hammer, if I'm using a different Hammer Legend, it'll probably be on the Hammer Legend as any Hammer or Spear Legend, basically. So let's go ahead and see if I have the uh, six. As you can see, they're gone. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for the mod uh, install tutorial. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments below. Um, it's really pretty simple once you get the hang of it. Just pay attention to what the instructions say. Usually there'll be a readme or it'll say um, somewhere in this area exactly where to place the files. Ooh, look at that one. Arcane Koji. That actually looks pretty sick. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, that is so cool. Look at the, uh, the sword just bursting with different colors and whatnot. I'm actually going to go ahead and get this one myself. Oh, they have different sounds as well. Let's go ahead and install this mod and just to show you how easy it is to install another mod. So. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab all of these and paste them straight into my Brahala folder. And I'm going to replace all of the files and that should do it automatically. So let's go ahead and open Brahala and check out this Arcane Koji. Oh, look at his weapon. Look at his weapon, dude. That's gonna induce a seizure. It's pretty sick, but at the same time, it's like, whoa. Too much, almost. Alright, let's see what the sword looks like. The sword is actually pretty sick. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed this mod tutorial. If you did, go ahead and drop a like. Be sure to subscribe for more Brahala content. As always guys, this is Lucian Sword. Hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy guys.